and welcome to the channel FWA4. In this video, we are going to be looking at the NFTs redeemables. So this is the retro comics one. So obviously, as you know, I haven't been collecting many NFTs just because of everything that happened. But we have got the ones that we did manage to get that we're still redeeming. And they're taking a long time to come. So I've opened the box and this came through every and i was having a very bad suspicion that you know every here over in the uk is not the best service you know out there these were left outside but we do have a ring doorbell and we have camera systems all around the house so it does capture um you know how they leave them and you know he left them under the porch there pretty well they've come by the looks of it double bagged even though i have a hair on me here and let's just check the condition. So I just thought instead of opening it, we'll just cut the tab already, ready to take them out and see the condition. So I only managed to get um, these ones. So these are the um, redeemables for the royalty set. So you have to collect all the commons, uncommons, rares and epics. Um, it's been a little bit while for I was collecting them and then when you get all those it gives you a royalty set so I've got two of those I didn't manage to get the grail um, one which was Popeye himself I think there was Pluto and I can't remember if that was it and that was the ones but I managed to get two of these they are in absolute mint condition I cannot fault them whatsoever we will take one out of the box one of them is already reserved for somebody else so that would be that and then that is it really and one of them is for us so I'm going to come around there and I'm going to show you what they look like but I'm going to take one of them out of the box as well so this is what it looks like in the packaging I mean you probably have seen them all around already but as you can see, he's pretty cool as Popeye. He's got spinach, although it doesn't show the spinach in the can there, but it does show it in the can here. I do like that they do the silver outline in here, which is really nice. And as you can see, it's in there and he's looking pretty mean. So there you go. We were gonna collect all of these, but we're just concentrating now on the other ones. So I think my light needs plugging in. So let me just quickly go do that and get that back on there we go now before we take them out of the box so i'm going to use this tab to take one of them out and then they're going to go straight into hard protectors to keep them safe we want to get a nice up close look at these value wise these are selling on ebay roughly around about 150 a piece they probably cost that to get them because the amount of packs you have to open uh, to get these is insane but this is what he looks like out of the box and as you can see it looks pretty cool it says spinach on there and here's his head move yeah so his head moves slightly paint works pretty good looks really nice on the back i like the two little stars and the anchor that's on his arm and then you've got the logo at the bottom to say that it's authentic and then obviously the iconic crown which looks really nice just stuck on his head there but there you go guys, it looks absolutely insanely cool. Right, let's pop him back in here. And then we'll just put this back in. It doesn't come with a background, usually. Once I love to do a background, but on these ones, there isn't one. It's just literally just a bit of cardboard and that is it. So with these, I like to keep them in um, hard protectors. I'll just show you the hard protectors that I use to keep things that are quite rare in. So there we go. Uh, there's the pop protector there. And they are pretty snug. And they do have these like little tabs which stop the lids coming off. So just take off the dust because there was a little bit of dust from just sort of cardboard dust on there I guess. And then here we'll just go in there. Just be careful not to snag it. And then it should fit nice and snug in there. And then the top just goes on like that. And then there you go. So he's now in his hard case. So he's all 
ready to go to his new home. And as I said, there are 3,198 3, pieces. Doesn't mean that many was redeemed. I do like the sticker. The way you can tell they're authentic is you should be able to see the writing through the sticker on the other side. If you can't see the writing through on the other side, you know that you've got someone trying to scam you there. But guys, that was it. They were my Popeye uh, NFTs. We do have the next lot that are coming are going to be the Nickelodeon ones. So they're actually pretty cool. And I got two of those as well. I think after that, I went a bit crazy on the My Little Pony. Got quite a few of those coming. We've got some of... I think we've got one of the DC2. That will be coming. So I've only got the royalty set of that. I think I've got a few of the Power Rangers, although I did trade a few of those for some ultra premium Charizard boxes, which are still not here yet. But I traded some of those uh, for the ultra premium boxes, which are now, uh, you know, pretty cheap to buy. But I got two of those, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, and I think that's about it, really. I'm not too sure. I think we got Jay and Silent Bob. We got quite a few of those coming as well. I don't think I've redeemed them yet, but I mean, we're probably talking about next year now. Uh, probably late into next year because Funko are really behind on their shipping, which is sad, but it's true. Um, but guys, I hope you liked this video as much as I did making it. Please give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Please remember to subscribe just by clicking down here. And if you can, set the bell so you don't miss out on any more videos. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.